Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> this is your friend, Dan O. Yeah, we got something for you today. Something really flashy and something not so really flashy. <laughs> All right, well, let's take a look at what I got today. We are going to be talking about Corgi Classics. Yeah, and this is what I've got for limited edition Corgi Classics. Um, I believe one of these I bought uh, in uh, Milwaukee, and uh, I think the other one uh, I bought online. I'm not really sure where these came from. Uh, but anyway, Corgi Classics, uh, 143rd scale. Uh, I believe they were around 1995 to uh, 98, I believe, somewhere around there, something like that. Uh, not really sure. Once you get into uh, these specialty things, uh, unless you're a uh, really, really good diehard uh, Corgi fan and stuff like that, then you know exactly when they came out and... Uh, and, and you got those kind of things all on your on your uh, on your tip of your tongue, I guess. <laughs> well, anyway, this is what I've got. Let's take a look at the back here for a second here. Um, now, normally, from what I found on my uh, digging around on YouTube and uh, eBay and uh, uh, on the uh, on the net. See, now this one says 1998. So uh, there you go. Um, they're usually uh, this. Um, now they did quite a few um, different models for the Corgi Classics. I believe that the uh, Land Rover in the Corgi Classics was this um, uh, 109. I, uh, is what I'm, I'm assuming, uh, what I saw pictures of. It was just this uh, 109. They didn't uh, do a lot of different models in this collection. Um, so uh, that's what I found. So let's take a look. This is the certificate that this is a limited edition and is, uh, let's see, that's 831 out of 5,000 produced so not too bad not too bad um, and and this is the collector number uh, 07302 that's uh, the number of this uh, particular model uh, the uh, uh, bronze green with the uh, green tilt on the back very very nice models Corgi has always produced uh, very nice models. They they are they are uh, a benchmark when it comes to Land Rover uh, models. They, and we we're going to take a look. I've got uh, more uh, Corgis. Now this is just the uh, what we're looking today as a uh, Corgi Classics. Now this is Series One with the eggs on the grill. You can see that it's got lens inserts for the headlight. Four four ER seven nine. Very nice, got a nice uh, tire on the hood. Now this one says uh, 50 years of, of Land, Ro uh, Land Rover. So this, uh, when would that be? 48 plus 50, <laughs> that'd be 98? Yeah, 98, that's why it's got, that's why it's got copyright 1998. All right, your friend Dano is not a big mathematician, but we're getting this through all this stuff together. <laughs> there you go. So I really don't have a lot of information about these. I mean, uh, and and really uh, looking them up and Googling them and stuff like that really didn't uh, yield a lot because they talk about Corgi in, in, uh, 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 in general, not in uh, this specific uh, limited edition. Uh, like I say, they have done uh, many, many vehicles, uh, and actually, uh, now I've got two of them here, but they do, they do several, several uh, liveries, but they're mainly of the 109 um, Series 1, and uh, that's what they, they uh, kind of used for their 
uh, Corgi Classics. All right, let's take a look at this one here. Now, this one, um, um, I believe I, I bought this in the wild. And uh, let's see if I can get this open without doing any uh, kind of crazy stuff here. <laughs> And uh, I know, I know, it says this is uh, just cheese balls. This is just uh, the, um, the, <laughs> what do they call it? Suspense. What's the number, Dan? Well, oh, Dan, oh, what, what do you got for a number on this gold one? Come on, we got to get this guy out of here. I know, oh, see now, I'm already wrecking this. This is unbelievable. I can't get this open. Why can't I get this open? This should just come right open, huh? Oh, man, I can't get it open. I'm sorry. Uh, now this one's got a little bit different uh, backing to it. Uh, the first one was just a folded over card. Now uh, this one's got a nice uh, uh, Land Rover. Uh, this a, a tr triangle type uh, fold there. Uh, just a beautiful gold. I, I think this is, and it's got a badge in the background. But I really like this. This is flashy. This is flashy right here. I think this is 24 karat gold, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. No, I'm just kidding. It's not 24 karat gold. Uh, and I'll tell you why, because I, I, I just saw this. Yeah, I got $50. I don't think I paid $50 for it. No, I, I know I didn't pay $50. Maybe I did. I don't know. I may have had a lot of cash that day. Yeah. You know what? I think I might have bought that for $50. It was, But it was in Milwaukee if I did at uh, Toy Toy Show down there. And, uh, yeah, wow, man, it should be $250 with the gold plating on there, right? Don't you say? But anyway, let's take a look. Okay, enough of that. Let's take a look at what I got for a number on that. This, the tape kind of came off on this one. I should probably uh, tape that back on there. But what do we got? Here we go. The Corgi Classics Land Rover. This is a uh, certificate that this is a limited edition and is 3,005 out of 5,900 produce. So they did do some different uh, numbers with the production. Uh, I'm not really sure on, uh, you know, what, what qualifies for that. And, and hopefully you guys that are uh, over across the pond can give me some more information, more clues Drop them in the in the uh, comments down below, so uh, you know we can kind of figure out what's going on here. Because us us Yanks over here don't know exactly what is going on here. That's <laughs> that's for sure. We uh, don't know uh, how how that works and stuff like that. But there you go. Uh, I'm gonna have to write these guys and ask them uh, what what the heck is going on here. Well, that's a that's a card that you're supposed to send in. You're supposed to affix your stamp here huh anyway well there you go how many of these buggers do you got now this is uh, a, a, a flashier model that you know uh, other than you know uh, Corgi started out as a toy you know a toy that you know you run right on the ground and uh, but this is kind of based off that because you know the a lot of the Corgis they had that hump there drilled out and they had the tow hook on them remember those yeah, and a uh, very popular model. This is probably the the um, most notable Land Rover from Corgi. If anybody is a toy collector or anything, uh, this is, you know, you say Corgi Land Rover, and they're going to say, oh, yeah, the uh, 109 pickup, you know, and uh, it came with different liveries. So anyway, let's quit flashing everybody <laughs> in the eyes with that. But once again, it has the uh, the the uh, lens inserts. Oh, nice. It's got the Land Rover green oval on the uh, on the grill. Really nice. No other added details such as the turn signals or anything like that. Uh, but just a really nice, nice head. I, I really like this. This is kind of uh, along with that uh, bare metal, you know, the uh, the uh, Zamax uh, that uh, Hot Wheels does and things like that. Um, so there you go, nice badge on the back there. Once again, no uh, tail lights or anything like that, brake lights, but 
just a very nice model. They're heavy too. I think that they they possibly might be metal on metal. Yep, they're metal on metal. Yeah, you can see that in this one here. But just a nice, I'm sure that that tilt is removable, but uh, nice, nice color green on there. The, the tilt is more of uh, a drab green or uh, a, you know, satin green and then the old bronze green, just beautiful. Oh, I could stare at this all day. It's just beautiful. <laughs> all right, well, there you go. That's what's in my collection for Corgi Classics in the Land Rover range. Uh, drop a comment down below. What's in your Land Rover collection for a Corgi Classics? Uh, go ahead and jump over to Facebook, and all these links are uh, down below in the description. You can go and join me on Facebook, Roverland, and uh, post some pictures over there. That's always appreciated. I really like to see what you got. And at um, on Instagram, Roverland channel. That's right. Check that out. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. A big one, like this big sausage thumbs up there. <laughs> Give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, share. I really appreciate it if you could share and tell your friends about this channel. So we can do more of it. And I mean anything and everything Land Rover right here on Roverland. Alright, we're going to call it a video. Thanks for joining me today. Make sure you, uh, you know, keep traffic. Slow traffic to the right. And have a great Rover Day!